So today in Heroes of the Storm, we had a new patch and it introduced Kael'tha Sunstrider, which we first saw previewed at PAX, and I thought we would take a look at him today. Kael'thas' base skin you can see here with its three different tints. Here you can see the master skin with its three different tints. And finally we have Stormpunk Kael'thas, which is a steampunk theme. Right now you can purchase Kael'thas and the Stormpunk skin together in a bundle for about $13. Otherwise, if you buy that skin by itself, it is $750. Kelthas himself costs 15,000 gold or $10. We'll take a quick look here through all the talents at each level. Now I thought we would take a look at some of his abilities. His Q ability is Flame Strike. Flame Strike costs 70 mana. It's an AoE effect, has a 7 second cooldown, it does damage in an area. Living Bomb costs 50 mana. It has a cooldown of 10 seconds. It deals initial damage to an enemy over 3 seconds, and then they explode, dealing damage to all nearby enemies. If you cast a second Living Bomb on an enemy, it causes the previous Living Bomb to immediately explode. E ability is Gravity Lapse. It costs 85 mana, cooldown of 13 seconds. It will stun the enemy for one and a half seconds, and they sort of float in the air and look cool when it happens. Your heroic ability options are Phoenix, which costs 80 mana. Uh, the cooldown is 40 seconds. You summon a Phoenix to the area, and it does a shit ton of damage and just kills everything around it. The alternative ability is Pyroblast. It costs 80 mana. It has a cooldown of 50 seconds. After 2 seconds, cast a slow moving fireball that deals 300 damage to an enemy hero and 150 damage to enemies nearby. It will chase them for quite a distance and it is a lot of damage. As Kelfish, your trait, which has a cooldown of 6 seconds, you can activate it to make your next basic ability more powerful. And now let's go see those abilities in action. I hope you enjoyed this look at Kael'thas, and I hope you enjoy him in-game. See you in Heroes of the Storm.